feeling good out there. Okay. It's Labor Day. Who's in the mood for a giveaway? I know I am. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who wants some of these Hondo 78-75s? Yeah. It's a great weekend to be alive here on my YouTube channel. The live stream, the live stream. All right now. <laughs> Let's get into the giveaway. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna do it tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause it's Labor Day. How's everybody doing out there? My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for joining me for this Boots and Ballads Labor Day weekend giveaway featuring the Hondo 7875. Whoo! And it is going to be a burner tonight. Yeah, we, we got it going on Sunday, 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 Sunday. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Mm, how are you doing out there? Mm. We got Smack Daddy is on the stream. We got Tanner Towns in here. We got Carol. We got Lucas. Cheers to you, Goliad. Cheers to you, Manuel Sanchez. Governor Brown is here. John Woodrow from Canada. Woo! Carol's from Canada, too. We got folks all over today. Ashton, hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey, Thomas. Cruff, good to see you here as well. Man, I want to start off this Boots and Ballads live stream by welcoming you all and also thanking you all because this giveaway got my channel over the 10,000 subscriber mark. Now, I'm not one for numbers, really, but 10,000 is a milestone. As far as I'm concerned, every single one of you watching right now is as valuable as all 10,000 of those subs, and you always have been. But this 10,000 mark is pretty cool because only 10% of YouTube channels make it over 10,000 subscribers. So you guys have helped make this channel, Cowboy Boots and Music, among the top 10% of YouTube channels. And I think that is amazing. So thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Cheers to you. Cheers. 10K. It's all you. Thank you so much, each and every one of you. <laughs> all right. Now, if this is your first Boots and Ballads live stream, let me give you the lowdown of how this stuff goes. Basically, this is like a variety show. I'm playing some music. We're talking boots, talking stories. You guys get to ask questions, and I'm going to do my best to answer some if I see them come through. So I'm here to chat with you, you're here to chat with me, and I'm here to give stuff away as well. Each and every one of the songs leading up to the announcement of the winner, the, the Hondo 78.5s, each one, there's songs, and I got a bunch of different stuff to give away to folks live on stream, but the boots go to uh, folks who may not be able to make the live stream. I want to make sure it's fair so you guys get something for being here and the folks who can't be here still have a chance to win the grand prize, which is these Hondo 7875s. Are you guys ready? Because I am ready. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, Omar. I'm going to keep going. I'm not stopping. Thank you. Wes. Wes, good to see you here. Brenna is not coming in on this one. Smack Daddyus. I am drinking the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I saw it just come out. I'm, I'm a big fan of Sam Adams stuff, and I like their seasonal brews. Uh, Oktoberfest is probably my second favorite seasonal brew that they have. My favorite that they have is the Winter Lager. Oh, maybe this is tied with the cherry one. I'm not sure. But I like Sam Adams and Boston. <laughs> Boston is a good place to like Sam Adams. I went to their brewery and did a little tour. Their their brewery is pretty cool. I got it. They got some nice testing facilities there. Yo. Mm. Thank you so much, Moral. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get right into the first giveaway for everybody here early on the stream. I want to make sure that you guys get your 
get your due as well. So let's start off with a song here. I'm going to start by playing Nights and Weekends. And you guys, if you guys know how this goes, basically I'm going to say comment now in the live chat, but I'm going to do that in a second. First, I'm going to show you what is up for grabs during this first giveaway to folks right here on the live stream. We got my CD Gardener Hands, a Wallaroo phone wallet, which also works in some boots. I've, I have it in like two of my boots. A Old Boots Got Soul boot bottle opener by Twisted Willow Fabrication. I don't know if you guys can see that there, if it's gonna, yep. Yeah. So you can see it says Old Boots Got Soul. The uh, boot part there is the heel is the bottle opener itself. And then we also have a necklace from Mariposa Originals. Now this is really, really cool. So you guys out there, this would make for a great, actually it might be a bracelet. This looks like it would fit on a small neck, but it looks like a bracelet with some charms. And we got a cowboy hat here, if you can see it. We got a cowboy hat and a couple other charms here. Mariposa Originals, let me bring up the shout out to them. Uh, they got awesome stuff. Monica Pena is a huge supporter of the channel. She's been... Uh, She's been here for a while, folks, and it, it means a lot for me to help uh, by offering her awesome products here as a giveaway. So if you guys need gifts for Christmas coming up or for birthdays, definitely check out her Etsy at mariposaoriginals.etsy.com, I believe is what that says. So definitely check that out. That's what we got here for the first giveaway, and I'm going to be playing nights and weekends. How this goes is I say comment now bam so now every comment that you guys put in is entered to win and then I'll do a random number generator based off of how many people are in the stream don't spam please if you spam you might get skipped over by me so comment but don't go crazy okay <laughs> don't go crazy this first song that I'm gonna play is called nights and weekends all my songs are Labor Day themed. <clears throat> this one is for the side hustlers out there. This is a song. <laughs> it's probably not the best or most appropriate song to be starting out with. This is a song about how a man became a gigolo. <laughs> it's still a side hustle, right? thousand in debt so many regrets he can't count them on his hands and toes another late notice from alice the mad lady she got eyes for him to cure his woes he says how about i come on over tonight it look like you're in need of a good time at first he declines but then she flashed a benny and it changed his mind oh those benjamin franklins will do it every time <laughs> see alice was nothing special she looked like a pear in a plastic bag And with a few decades of driving mail Places of her began to sag But after he accepted the offer His face turned one of the deepest shades of red A big smile came to her face She touched his cheek and then she said You don't need no candles, no You don't need no wine You don't need your bed made up with those linens so fine I'm only asking of you for just one thing. He said it's good, but in the future, nights and weekends is the time to call. Yeah. <laughs> the night was heavy on him as he got ready for the arrival of Alice. And even though he really didn't have to, he shaved. To have a nice smooth <laughs> And when the night was over She said, you know, I got some friends Who'd be into this kind of thing Yes, you need help and you can help them Speak up, boy, now what do you think? You don't need no candles, now. You 
don't need no wife. You don't need your bed made up with those linens so fine. If they ask for you, they're asking for just one thing. He said, you tell them that nights and weekends is the time to call. Yeah, all right now. <laughs> and his phone, it started ringing, it started buzzing, it started getting all these texts and notifications. Sounded something like an improvised harmonica solo. Let me give it a shot. Pick it up now. out of debt with no regrets except for one but he got that cured it was all for Alice on her route every day she was out there spreading the word he was book tied for the first two years that is until he raised his price now you better have big money if you want to head on over to his place tonight now he buys the candles yeah and he buys the wine he's got his bed made up with those linens so fine if you ask for him you asking for just one thing but remember that nights and weekends is the time to call Kicking things off there for one, for the side hustlers who probably will spend this Labor Day working anyways. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to be working this Labor Day anyways? All right, I'm putting stop now in the comments. Casey's going to be working. <laughs> oh, good to see you here, Casey. Hey, Ashton. All right, all right. So... Let's see here. We got 37 folks in here right now. Thank you so much to everybody who has joined me and is on the stream right now. So let's pick our winner right now. Bam. All right, all right. Here we go. Roberto Romero, you get it. Congrats, congrats. You got the CD, Gardner Hands, which has the song Nights and Weekends on it. You also get the phone wallet slash boot wallet. It does work inside boots. You get the boot bottle opener made by Twisted Willow Fabrication. It says old boots got sold. That is stainless steel and it will last you forever. And you also got the bracelet charm with the cowboy hat. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats, Roberto. Cheers to you. That's how we kick things off here. Thank you so much for everybody joining me so early. Mm. Now, 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 let's get into this here. <clears throat> All right, we had a first time watch. Oh, first time winner. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Congrats, Roberto. Woo! <laughs> oh man, we're having some fun. Now, every giveaway, I do a little question in the form. And, and I know that's sort of a lot of information for me to ask you guys, but when I first started doing these giveaways, it, it was sort of tough to get a hold of some of the folks who won because everybody's name here on YouTube isn't the same as their name on like uh, their real name, I guess. So, so, so it got tough to contact and just try to, you know, confirm everybody's name and the fact that they actually won, which is why I ask so much information. But I also ask a specific question and I, I share the answers to those questions on every live 
stream Boots and Bounds. So on this one, I asked you how many of you or what are your favorite insoles, you know? So let me pull up that information here. Let's see, where did I put it? Let's see where, oh, here it is, graph stats. Bam. So here's the graph stats. So we had almost 200 people enter to win these boots. And as you can see, the hard leather insole is about two thirds <clears throat> preferred with the folks who had entered this giveaway. I like the hard leather insole the best, which is what comes on these Hondo 7875s, just because it forms to your foot better, it needs less repair over the life of the boot. Uh, I just like it the best. Second is my uh, is the soft leather insole that's non-removable. And it looks like that came in second. Uh, so that's the kind of insole that you're going to find in Tacovas, uh, some some like Boulets, depending on who makes the brand. Like there's several boot companies who will put those kind of insoles in there that are non-removable, but it does give you a little bit extra cushioning than what you get with the hard leather insole. Still can form to your foot, but not as quickly, and it still may need repair over the life of the boot. And then we have uh, in third place, it looks like the removable foam insoles like you get on a lot of Ariats and a lot of other uh, boot companies are making those now as well. Some like Justin do that when you get work boots, they usually come with removable foam slash gel. And then in fourth place comes the leather or foam inserts, like the really, really thin, the really, really thin pieces that um, Anderson Bean puts in theirs, but then they also have some other uh, insole underneath that. And I can't wait to try Anderson Bean, uh, but damn. Thank you all for answering this question. The hard leather insoles wins out above all else, <laughs> beats all three of them combined. Two thirds of you guys enjoy the hard leather insoles over any of the others. And that's traditional. You guys love the traditional make, so it's good that you're here because this Hondo 7875 is traditional. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. It's a runaway, Lucas. It is a runaway for sure. Let me see, where did I put that um, um, comment now? Okay, there we go. And let's talk about, let's talk about, what are we doing here? What? Where's my, where's my outline? Come on, Jeremiah, get it together. So we're gonna do a second giveaway now. We're gonna do a second giveaway. Bam! So this is the portion where you guys get the chance to win the Broken Axe Leather Company products that you may have seen on the channel. <clears throat> so. Broken Axe Leather Company. I spoke with them on, I guess the it went on up on Wednesday, and damn, they're making some great stuff. Check this out. You get this little card holder, wallet. This is what's up for grabs right now. 19 years old is the owner of this business, and a keychain right here. Great, great products. You guys should check his stuff out at brokenaxeleathercompany.com. He's making some great stuff. Definitely one of those side hustlers that we're talking about who's probably going to be working on, working on Labor Day anyways. You know what I mean? Also up for grabs is my CD, Gardner Hands, again, and a boot wallet, phone wallet from Wallaroo, and, of course, Old Boots Got Soul bottle opener stainless steel this will last you forever engraved and made by twisted willow fabrication also check them out at twisted willow fabrication.com so that's what's that's what's up that is what's up so let's do this let's do this right now so comment now we're going to be doing this uh bam 
So now I want to play an old, old work song <clears throat> that is from my hometown, pretty much. So you guys familiar with the Erie Canal? The Erie Canal is a canal that runs from the Hudson River to the Great Lakes, starts in Albany, runs all the way to Buffalo. And this, is, this was made way back when they didn't have machines to dig the canal, so the canal was dug by people, by folks, workers. And then when they had filled it with water, they had mules basically pull barges of you know, what lumber, coal, and hay, as the song goes. But they would just, they would basically use this as a transportation method to take things basically from New York City. So things would come in there up the Hudson River, across the state from Albany, all the way to Buffalo, to the Great Lakes, and then you would have access to the entire Great Lakes system. Pretty incredible that they were able to do this. So I'm going to play this old folk song, this old working song called... Erie Canal. I got a mule and her name is Sail. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. Yeah, we hauled some barges in our day Filled with lumber, coal, and hay And she knows every inch of the way From Albany to Buffalo Low bridge, everybody down Low bridge, yeah, we're coming to a town You always know your neighbor And you always know your pal If you ever navigated down the Erie Now you bet your life I never part with sail Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Cause she's a good old worker and a good old pal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Get up there mule, here comes a lock We'll be in Rome about six o'clock And one more trip and back we'll go Right back home to Buffalo Low Bridge Everybody down Low Bridge Yeah, you're coming to a town You always know your neighbor And you always know your pal If you ever navigated on the Erie Canal Yeah, you always know your neighbor And you always know your pal If you ever navigated on the Erie Canal Woo, there's an old one for you. Oldie, oldie folk song called the Erie Canal. We're stopping it there. We're stopping it there, folks. Bam. <clears throat> I love playing those old folk songs. They got so much story there. There's so much. And I might do a, like, a, a, the story behind the song video about that here someday. Love that tune. Mm. Don't have that one recorded anywhere. So we got 47 folks on this stream right now. Lovely to have you all here. Thank you so much for joining me. So now I'm going to do a random number generator. And we will get the winner of the next prize package. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to go from... Here we go, here we go. One, two, Tanner Towns, Tanner Towns, you get it. Congratulations, Tanner Towns. You get the, oh man, love this. Love giving away this stuff. You get the leather wallet by Broken Axe Leather Company, the keychain from Leather 
or from Broken Axe Leather Company. You get the bottle opener, the Wallaroo wallet, and my CD. What a great prize package there. Congrats. Congrats, Tanner. Mm. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right. LC in the house. He's new. We got a we got a newbie here. Welcome, LC. Uh, question: What is the favorite brand of boots? Boulet and Anderson Bean as a close second. Woo! That's a great question. Everybody, put your favorite brand of boots in the live chat right now. That's a great question, LC. Great question. I love Boulet as well. They got to be my favorite. I mean, once you have a pair of boots that's lasted you 14 years, I don't know really how you could have another favorite. So that's still my favorite. Uh, Hondo is coming up as a close second, and that's not just because they're doing the giveaway. I'm just, I just really like the stuff that they're making. They're making it traditional. They're making them the way that boots used to be made. Uh, I'm also a really big fan of some of the older Nakonas. Uh, I just really like the fit that you can get with some of those vintage Nakonas. Uh, let's see. I'm wearing the, the Hondos today. I got the 2670s right here. And they don't have very many of these around right now, but they may be doing a reboot of the 2670 soon, so I will let you guys know if that happens. I hope they do. The 2670 is a badass boot. I wish you could find Hondos too. We got Lucchese's, Tony Lama, Justin, Tacova's, Hondo. Can't forget about JW Boot Company, Rocket Buster, Edge. Edge, that's what I'm talking about. How can you go wrong with Rocket Buster? Damn. That's a good favorite. Double H says Vincent. Ops says Tony Lama. Thomas says Tanner. Yeah. All right. You got the Ariat Ramblers today, Kid Bass. That's what I'm talking about. Good to see you here. Whew. All right. So now we are in the portion of the live stream where... I do a little segment, okay? And with it being Labor Day, I want to talk about all of the jobs that you can wear cowboy boots at. And really, it boils down to pretty much every single job, and I really don't see there being any disadvantages of wearing cowboy boots for your job unless it's super athletic like uh, if you're a basketball player like you're probably not going to be wearing cowboy boots out on the court <laughs> but i got so many more examples of industries where cowboy boots are perfect so let's get into it all right all right let me pull up my let me pull up my little thing here oh I'm already giving one away. I'm already giving one away. Of course, of course we got to start out with cowboys, right? I mean, cowboys are the folks who have tested the boot, who have made it what it is, the cowboy boot. It is as durable because it needs to hold up to the work that cowboys and ranchers do every single day. So, of course, I had to start there. I know it might be a cop-out to some of you guys, but come on. We got to give mad respect because that's a hard job. And you need some quality boots so that you can do those hard jobs. Then we got farmers, right? Of course, there's good boots for farmers just like there is for uh, the ranchers and the cowboys too. Now, you might need a little lower heel, depending on the kind of farming that you're doing, like maybe a stockman heel, maybe one and three eighths to one inch, uh, just because you don't want to be on a heel like this, a two inch heel, <laughs> walking around like a field or something. It's not good. It's, that's not what the heels are for. So you need to have a shorter heel, but farmers can definitely uh, get away with wearing cowboy boots as well laborers of course these are work boots these hondo 70 
78, 75, work boots. They're good for landscaping. I was doing uh, some weed whacking. You know, we were in the Bobcat for the video. Whatever you do, whatever labor it is, whether it is landscaping or some other sort of odd jobs here and there, you can wear boots. Like, it's awesome. That one and three eighths heel is the perfect height, too. It's not too tall, but it still gives you a good amount of support as well. So we got that. And of course, construction workers working our way up the labor there. You got awesome options when it comes to steel toe boots in the cowboy boot world. Now we're starting to get into more Western boot stuff, right? But you have steel toe options, which is huge. And it means that you get the comfort of a cowboy boot, but also the safety of a work boot as well. You gotta, you gotta love the Western work boot. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of the steel toe mechanics, they can also get away with wearing the cowboy boot, but you gotta make sure it fits. You know, you don't want to be uh, slipping around in your boots or anything. In fact, a lot of companies, a lot of shops and stuff, won't let you wear slip-on boots just because they're afraid that. You know, they might actually slip off. That's not supposed to be the case. A, a good fitting cowboy boot is supposed to be snug at the instep, which means it's not going to fly off. So you got to make sure you have the right size if you're going to be working in cowboy boots. But if you do decide to, you have some good support. You got some steel toe opportunities with, um, with cowboy boots in the mechanic world. Like you guys, there's so many options out there. You know what I'm saying? electricians too some of you folks out there are electricians and not only do you get the work boot style but there are also several models that you can find that have the uh the shock protection right the electric shock protection now i i just think it's incredible how many options you have in the western boot world and this is why i say that there is a boot for every single industry for the most part then you can find it moving on we have the truck drivers now i know a lot of you out there are truck drivers maybe you're taking a break ray i'm looking at you moses i'm looking at you you know what i'm saying truck drivers guys there isn't really much more comfortable of a boot when you're driving than a cowboy boot I've been on tour five to six times, so I've done a lot of driving myself. You got to have a comfortable boot if you're going to be driving all of the time. You don't want your toes like pinched up, which is why I feel like square toes are good options for drivers because you have a lot of room in the toe box when you're driving. That doesn't mean that you have to go with a, a, a square toe, but I think that's where a lot of the popularity comes from with truck drivers is you got a lot of room there i always went with medium round when i was driving around with the boulet uh, my first boulet was my pretty much my main boot i always chose my most comfortable boot when i was going on tour the most reliable so truck drivers awesome options out there for you for working as well engineers now we're switching things up a little bit now i'm talking about all types of engineers I'm talking about even software engineers so some of you folks out there are software engineers too it is a very popular job very hard job and very respectable just like all of these others are and now we're starting to get into the territory of more white collar boots where you can start playing around with exotics a little bit more you know what I'm saying and when you start to play around with exotics in the office you just get a little bit more confidence and people approach you a little bit differently because if you have your your boot game and it's on point and your confidence is on everything just falls in line and you're able to achieve so much more no matter what your job is uh, if you are in the white collar world, which leads me to the office pros like marketing specialists or accountants or product managers out there. I used to love wearing my cowboy boots in the office. 
I did it all the time when I worked as a marketing specialist, whether it be as an in-house marketer or when I worked at agencies. I, I think it gives you a different, a, a different, I don't know, approach to things. Like people don't expect to see cowboy boots in the office place. Maybe they do down in Texas or in the Southwest a little bit more, but not up north. And when you do that and you pull it off right, you get a lot more confidence day to day and a lot more respect too. I feel like a lot of people overlook what they're wearing on their feet in the office and sometimes it comes across as a little bit amateur. So if you're wearing boots, you don't get taken for an amateur, even if you are one. <laughs> you get away with it a little bit more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then we have medical professionals, nurses, doctors. Guys, when I'm on Twitter, I see a bunch of different tweets about how people's doctors or nurses are wearing cowboy boots with their scrubs. And sometimes the patients don't, like they're kind of confused by it, like they don't get it. But a lot of times the patients just feel more comfortable with who they're dealing with. Like if the person is confident and comfortable in the footwear that they choose to wear, even if it's with scrubs, then they're going to be uh, accepted by their patients much more easily than if they were just like in some uncomfortable shoe, right? So it comes down to what you're comfortable in. And I feel like more medical professionals need to be wearing cowboy boots just because one, it's badass, and why wouldn't you trust a doctor or a nurse who's got cowboy boots on? Like, why Why wouldn't you? Yeah, of course, I want my doctors to wear cowboy boots. Come on now, right? I would trust you if you were my doctor. Lawyers, lawyers, like, is there any better, is there any better <laughs> industry to wear cowboy boots where you need to have that gusto? I mean, I think it, like it's one of the, most ridiculous boots, but also the best boot to wear as a lawyer is the alligator boot. Like you come across as knowing your shit through and through, not to mess with that lawyer. Mm. You gotta love a lawyer in cowboy boots, right? And finally, oh, it didn't come through. Teachers was what I had here uh, as the last one. Teachers, teachers are awesome in cowboy boots. I know some of you are teachers out there. I was going to be a teacher. I originally went to school to be a teacher until I changed my majors. Uh, I remember the teachers who wore cowboy boots, who were my teachers. I remember them. And I remember the fact that, you know, they had cowboy boots and it was like no big deal to them, right? They're just wearing their cowboy boots. But like those teachers just knew their shit, right? They, they not only knew their uh, curriculum and their subject, but it was just like you didn't question them. You just listened. Like the captive attention was there, right? More teachers need to be wearing cowboy boots too, if you can afford it with the way that teachers are paid nowadays. <laughs> Mad respect to the teachers out there. And of course, I want to finish things out with the small business owners. In any of these industries that I just mentioned, there are small business owners. And of course, each and every one of you can wear cowboy boots as well. And maybe it will make you more confident in your day to day because there's a lot of things in a small business that can go haywire and it can make you a little bit nervous, but at least you got a good supportive quality, durable piece of footwear on your feet that you know can handle day to day. And it's one less thing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say, Thanks to everybody who's watching right now who fell into one of those categories. And thanks for working. You know, I hope that you take tomorrow off. Labor Day is a huge, huge holiday. I think that a lot of times we work really, really hard. And a lot of times we don't really either see any thanks, any appreciation for it. Well, today, and this weekend and tomorrow, Monday, being Labor Day, is that appreciation. So you got to take the time and spend it 
with your family or with folks you love or with video games like whatever like maybe finding a new pair of boots whatever it's important to take the time and appreciate the work that you do yourself you know what i'm saying and there's cowboy boots out there for each and every one of you what do you guys think that i forget about anybody put it in the chat who did i forget what do you guys think about that those were cool teachers Wes says they really were they were the best teachers you know what I'm saying those teachers who wear cowboy boots they stand out and they are remembered forever by their students forever I still remember the teacher that I had in high school who wore boots every single day he was one of the reasons why I wanted to be a teacher myself laborers get forgotten on this long weekend and it's all for them. True that, Carol. Let's not forget anybody. Porn stars. <laughs> Edge. That's a funny one. <laughs> you guys are funny. And old man says, by the way, you can still wear cowboy boots when you retire. Perfect comment from you, buddy. <laughs> Love it. Of course, pimps, you gotta go flashy. You guys, I like the way that you guys, I like this mood that you guys are in. This is fun. <laughs> Boot makers, of course. Lifeguards. <laughs> How you swimming in, in cowboy? You gotta have like a super wide square triple stitched welt <laughs> if you're gonna be lifeguarding in cowboy boots. Use those suckers as flippers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, you guys are the best. So that was today's segment, Boots for Every Job. Oh, if you're curious about wearing boots for your job, just try it. They fit, they fit, they fit the the need, they fit the industry. No matter what industry that you're in, you can wear boots for it. And they're comfortable and durable, so you might as well, so you're not buying boots all the time. Um... Uh, or different shoes all the time from different folks like every six months or every year or so I mean some of you guys are gonna go through boots really fast depending on what you do but other folks if you're just like uh, working at desk or working at the office uh, maybe doing some driving around those boots will probably last you a little bit longer uh, when some other sorts of work shoes or sneakers won't last you that long. So you might as well go with cowboy boots because they can also be repaired. And that is pretty meaningful in an age where we buy something and in three months when it's broke, we throw it out. So go for something that can be repaired. You know what I'm saying? All right. Wearing the Lucases. Oh, you get the cold front, Redskins. <laughs> There's boots for every job. Boots to keep you on top. To keep you safe and in control of your fate. Get some boots for your job Yeah, get your boots for your job today Yeah <laughs> All right, all right, all right Let's do another giveaway What do you guys say? What do you guys say to that? Oh, Sharkskin Ray That's a good boot for a lifeguard <laughs> Love it All right Oh, actually Let's start. I got a, I got something else I got to uh, show you guys here. So, I have a new piece of merch that I want to show you guys. And it's something that you guys requested. And we figured it out with my dad's company, Twisted Willow Fabrication. We did some testing for some uh, different kinds of of this product which I will talk about but I finally have belt buckles available in my store these are engraved by 
Twisted Willow, Fabrication, check it out. We got brass options and silver options. Woo, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So, these are up on my store at jeremiahcraig.com slash store. Uh, they're going for $39.95. And on the back here, you can see there's a little QR code. Now, that QR code goes to the Boots and Ballads vault where you can get like early access to some of the merch that we're doing. Like there's these, there's a couple of test versions of these still available in the vault. There's early access to some videos. Like right now there's a, there's a video up there that's coming out on Tuesday. So you get to see the videos early and also some random free stuff. And I'm gonna be doing some random stuff. Like if I'm gonna do something special, I'll probably do it there. So definitely check it out. So you got the QR code on the back of any of these and also on the back of the mugs too. So if you get any of the engraved stuff from Twisted Willow Fabrication that is on my store, jeremiahcraig.com slash store, it also comes with the QR code to get access to the Boots and Ballads vault. And we did some testing too. Like I ordered out for a couple of different buckles and one of them just didn't make the cut. So on this next giveaway, I wanna show you one of the test buckles right here. So this buckle did not make the cut at all. It's kind of thin. I didn't really like it very much. I didn't feel like it had the quality that I was looking for that, that these ones did. So uh, I tested this out for like a week or so and I wasn't really feeling it. So I'm gonna do a giveaway for this belt buckle here and this also comes with the QR code here on the back that gets you access to the Boots and Ballads vault. The thing is though, is this, this is backwards. Since this was a test, this is a lefty belt buckle. So as you can see, most belt buckles will have you know, their buckle on the right side. This one has it on its left side. So it's, it's backwards. So just know that coming into it right now. But this is in the giveaway package. This is the only one like this too, just so you know. It might be uh, a little bit cheaper and didn't make the cut for the, the store uh, here online. But this is the only one of these belt buckles. So there isn't any others. So it could be a good collector item for some of you guys out there. Also, you will get a Twisted Willow Fabrication Old Boots Got Soul bottle opener. And of course, the Wallaroo phone wallet and the, boom, Gardner Hands album. So that's what's up for grabs right now. Let's get that going here. So where is my... Let's see, I can take this away and I'm gonna be playing this song and we can comment now. So, here we go, here we go. Comment now, bam. <clears throat> Talk about a rare item, Wes, you know it. It's the only one and the only one that there will ever be because it is kind of a cheaper belt buckle. But I gotta test these things. You know, I can't just be offering stuff in the store and then have it be just crap. So, these ones are tested and they're going for $39.95 on the, on the store. But there are two of them in the vault still. Some of the two earliest ones that we were testing that are going for $15 or somewhere around there plus shipping. So if you happen to win this and scan it, you might be able to get a good price on one of these early ones, okay? <laughs> There's some good Good opportunity to get a bunch of cool stuff in the vault. Speaking of Twisted Willow Fabrication, I did a video with my dad about a year and a half ago. It was a break room balladeer video where I talk to businesses and then make a song about the industry or some other inspiration that I get from the business. 
and I wrote a song called Precision Meets Passion. And of course, I thought it was the perfect song here to play during Labor Day, right? So that's what I'm going to play right now. You can hear this on my album, In Vacant Dates and Intentions. It might not have started with a key. That's where I remember it Open in a door we hardly see It needs no one protecting it All the purpose and possibility The option is defending it Working like it took centuries To perfect the fit here Attention is captive, but a presence of compassion keeps the motions always active. Yeah. That might be moments of fear, but I don't decline a feat. All the support I have is near. Love is the cosign I need Yet I hear every comment clear From every voice out on the street And I never shed a tear I'm too busy taking the lead Hey Precision meets passion Far different from the average yeah, the lonely and the lavish fits in one perfect package. Trading notes for creation. Nothing happens overnight. Years went into foundation. Now's the time to rise. Now's the time to rise. Attention is captive, but a presence of compassion keeps the motions always active. Hey. It might not have started with a key, so much more descended it. If there's one thing you can see, here I find the perfect fit. Precision meets passion, and if you guys haven't seen that Break Room Balladeer episode with my dad, you should totally check it out. Just search Twisted Willow Fabrication in YouTube or in my channel, and you guys will find it among the videos. All right, all right. What do we got here? What do we got? We got 46 folks here in the stream right now. So thankful to have you all here with me. Thanks for joining me. All right, here we go. I got the number right now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty
All right, I'm gonna do the winner right now for the Hondo 7875. We had 200 people enter to win this time. Thank you so much to everybody who came through and entered to win these boots. All right, final good luck to you all. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. The winner of the Hondo 7875 Cowboy Work Boot is Eric Diedrichson. Whoa! Congrats, Eric. Congrats. Woo! From Kentwood, Louisiana. Cheers to you, Eric. Cheers to you. You get the boots. All right, I'll be emailing you, and you get to pick your size, of course, and they will deliver them straight to you in Louisiana. Congratulations, Eric. Congratulations. Whoa. Eric has been, been with me for a while, so it's nice to see him finally win. Cheers to you, Eric. Cheers. Eric, are you on stream? Are you on stream, Eric? I see you so frequently on the channel. You are the best. Thank you all for your support, your comments, your likes, your shares, your uh, engagement with me on not only right here in the live chat, Ashton and Old Man Emmanuel and Carol and Thomas and Gary. You guys just engage with me so frequently even in like instagram or the facebook messages or the facebook boot group like you guys are the best i absolutely love talking with you all sometimes my replies uh might come across as being i don't know <laughs> sarcastic but i'm actually that excited when i use explanation points so much i'm actually that excited that you are talking to me. I think it is an honor to have you as a, as a fan and you take my opinion so seriously. Um, I'm just as much a fan of you as you are of me. That's what it comes down to. Like, the feeling is mutual. The feeling is mutual. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for being here and congrats to all the winners today. You guys are the best. Eric's not here, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure he will be ecstatic when he finds out. <laughs> Isn't it funny that we all know that he won before he did? <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you, Carol. Wes, you're the best. <laughs> you got to use the exclamation points, right? Especially, especially these days. Especially these days. All right. So that's pretty much the end of the boots and ballads live stream however i do like to stay here for about like an extra half an hour around and chat with me i'd be happy to play some more music or answer any questions that you have here just put them in the live chat and i'll try to find them uh as i am coming through you gotta come around more lc you gotta come around more this community is amazing there are so many great folks in the Cowboy Boot community. Awesome community we have, Ashton. So true. Thank you, Gary. I I can't I can't be a faker. I can't do it. I get stressed out if I have to lie or anything. I like to share all the tricks and tips with everybody. Thank you so much, Ray. Oh, you want to see a review on the Tacova's Ostrich Wallet? I might do one i probably maybe maybe i might be able to do one this year i'm working on another tacovas video coming up here in the next couple months uh with one of my buddies from college so you guys will see that and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun one uh i could probably tell you guys what boot we're gonna be doing if you guys are interested we are looking at the dean the zip boot from Tacovas, and I know a lot of you folks out there are interested in the zip boots, so I got that one coming and another zip boot coming this year, uh, but usually I don't touch on the zip boots because I used to have them, and I'm not super big, not super big on them, 
but they are still considered Western boot and do fit the channel. And I have had requests for zip boots, so those will be coming through here shortly. Yes, Mac Daddy, yes, I'm not a big fan of them either, but the, the requests have been significant enough to where I cannot ignore them any longer. <laughs> you want to hear Whoop Jamboree? I think I could do that. That's another working song, except it's a working song for the sailors. Let's do it. David says, you inspired me to get my first pair about a month ago, and now you have three. <laughs> Garden Grove, California in the house. That's what I'm talking about, David. You caught the bug fast. Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun? It's like you can't stop. <laughs> uh, you, need, you need my email? I'll throw my email here in the chat. If anybody wants to email me, if you won, you can email me. If you if you won, I also have your information here in the sheet when you signed up, so I can email you too. But if you want to get a, a jump start on it, here is my email. And if anybody wants to email me about anything else, feel free. Feel free to email me. I also reply to the emails. What kind of electric guitar would I play if I weren't playing acoustic I would play the Telecaster I had a Telecaster for a very long time I went on tour with the Telecaster and I love I love the Telecaster probably mainly because of the boss because that was his like look the Telecaster um, but it's it sounds really good too I like I like the sound of the Telecaster um, I hope to have another Telecaster someday, but I had to sell it about a year ago. So maybe someday I will have another Telecaster. Uh, I would definitely play the Telecaster for sure though. Mexican made grinder boots, Mark asks. I don't know if I've tried the grinders. I, I'll check them out though. I'll get them on the list for sure. That's a good question. Any Gary, any any chance I can tell about the leather processing being used, chrome and vegetable tan and boots under review? Yes, there is definitely a chance that I could do that in the future. In fact, that is one of the things that I want to focus on when the um, pandemic is over and I can get on the road a little bit more. I want to visit tanneries. I want to do a whole series. Uh, looking at every leather in detail so talking with professionals from uh, every level from the tanner from the cowboy boot maker to you know the people who use the cowboy boots the people who repair the cowboy boots i want to know every little thing that there is to know about each and every leather so i will be doing that eventually that is a very big project that i have planned though and probably won't be for another little bit because it will take a lot of work um, but I am super interested in making that series. I want to do every single leather that is used for cowboy boots. So yes, that is, that is on my content list. Carol asks, does my Martin go camping with me or do I have a different guitar for camping and campfires? I have a different guitar when I want to use it in situations that I'm not really comfortable taking the jack of spades. <clears throat> it's the Rogue. Let me grab it. It's this one right here. This is uh, the Rogue, and I named it the Rogue Crow um, because it is a Rogue guitar. So very cheap, but I found this guitar when I was walking uh, near the house where we were renting when I was living in Kent, Washington. So I was walking my dogs, and this this guitar was just leaned up against a bridge. It had no strings, but it had a pack of strings next to it, and it looked like a sad puppy with a little bag of food next to it, just waiting for somebody to come along and say, well, I already have the food here. I might as well take you home with me. So it was just sitting there on a the bridge. So I brought it home. 
And since there were a lot of crows in the area, uh, I decided to name this guitar the Rogue Crow. And this is what I'll take when I'm not sure what the weather is going to be like on coffee and musics. Uh, this is what I'll probably play primarily in the wintertime when I'm outside doing the coffee and musics live streams in the morning. So um, it's okay. Like it sounds really dead. Like it just sounds cheap. It's not super fun to play. And it always goes out of tune. <laughs> it's really hard to keep in tune. But this is the guitar that I use when I don't want anything bad to happen to the uh, Jack of Spades. But it doesn't, it just, it just doesn't sound good. If you want to hear uh, an album where I used that guitar mostly, uh, check out my album On a Weekend at a House by the Road. I took one weekend and I wrote 10 songs and I also recorded those 10 songs in one weekend. So before the weekend I had nothing and at the end of the weekend I had 10 new songs and a, an entire album recorded. I just wanted to see what I could do in a weekend and that's what I did and I mainly recorded all of that on that guitar. So uh, if you want to hear what it sounds like recorded, you can check out that album. It is a pretty rough album as you can imagine because I only took like a day and a half to record it because the other day I was writing all of the songs. But it's a good guitar to have around and it gives me a, a different perspective on writing. Uh, you don't get the same sort of ideas from writing songs on the same guitar all the time. I feel like guitars have spirits or souls or energies. If you want to get, you know, new age with me for a second here. I feel like they have their own personalities. And some guitars help you write songs better than others, as, as depending on what the topic is. And I found that I write very different songs on the Rogue Crow than I do on the Jack of Spades. All right, all right. Next up is uh, Whoop Jamboree, but I don't ever remember. I don't ever remember what harmonica I use. Let me see. So I got a harmonica suitcase here. Usually I keep all my harmonicas in here. Uh, I think it might be the... Yeah, this is the one I use. So I use this harmonica on this song. So this is what we're gonna do here. Every harmonica, at least the diatonic harmonicas, which is the harmonicas that I play, there's, uh, there's different keys. Oh no, what happened here? I got all hung up. All right, all right. Does Brenna play any instruments? She used to play the violin, but she doesn't play it anymore. All right, all right. So I will play Whoop Jamboree. This is a good request here for Labor Day. This is a, this is a song about sailors coming home from a long trip at sea. Be of good cheer for the Irish land will soon draw near In a few more days we'll sight Cape Clear Jenny gets your oat cakes done Hup Jamboree, hup Jamboree You sometimes sell a haul upon the line Hup Jamboree, hup Jamboree Jenny gets your oat cakes done We're 
around the rock. All the hammocks last and the chests all locked. And we'll holler into the Waterloo dock. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. You sometimes sell a haul up on the line. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Lads, we're all in luck. We'll be off to Dan Lowry's on the spot, and we'll have ourselves a good roundabout. Jenny gets her oat cakes done. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. You sometimes sell a haul up on the line. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. Jenny gets her oat cakes done. Yo, yo. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Smack Daddyus. Thanks for hanging out, Thomas. We'll see you later. Peace. Woo. That was Whoop Jamboree. And you can hear that on my album, In Vacant Dates and Then Tensions. I also used that one a lot for the rundown recently. It's just got a lot of good energy in the recorded version. That's an old public domain song. That's not me. That's an old folk song. I heard it on a vinyl that I got from a thrift store of old of old sea shanties being sung by a men's choir. So there's no actual accompaniment. It's just a bunch of guys singing songs in harmony. And uh, <laughs> I like buying those weird vinyls in, uh, in thrift stores because uh, every once in a while you find an old song and it's like, whoo, that's kind of cool. I'm going to play that. I'm going to learn that and play it my own way. And that's what I did with Whoop Jamboree. So, whoo. A squire. I used to have a squire. Not bad. The action is kind of high and you can change it. It's, it's, it's nice, but it's a good starter. It's a good starter guitar for sure. I wouldn't want to play it all the time after that, though. Seems like a lot of boot wearers play guitars, Carol. Yeah, it's true. I mean, even um, boot makers, too. You guys ever seen uh, Lee Miller's guitars <laughs> on his Instagram, Texas Traditions? He's always playing some nice guitars. He's got some really, really, really nice guitars. Ashton asks, what genre do I consider my music? I consider it folk music. I'm not going to try and get all fancy and do all these hybrid, like... Oh, it's indie rock with a little bit of jazz flair and folk. It's just folk music. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I take the, the ideas and the stories and the traditions of folk music. I try to modernize it a little bit in my own way. And uh, it really doesn't change that much. At least I'm trying not to have it change that much from the way that uh, folk music used to be played. Um, with stories and things like that. So I'm just calling it folk music. Maybe you could say American folk music if you wanted to get a little bit more detailed. Yes. For one for one Christmas, we did like that uh, Yankee Swap or the elephant, like what do you, the white elephant? There's a bunch of names for it where you get to steal. Somebody had uh, brought a CD of monks, Gregorian chant, Gregorian chant of Celine Dion. My mom just reminded me here in the chat. It was awful. It was so bad. It was definitely not as good as the men's choir of sea shanties. <laughs> you got you got to love that they tried though. <laughs> if there's one thing you wouldn't expect Gregorian chants to try, it's Celine Dion. <laughs> oh. Good night, Bam Bam. Congrats on winning one of the giveaways. Thanks for joining. Okay. Jesse says, how's it going? From Sunnyside, Washington. Yo, thank you for joining, Jesse. Thank you for jo joining. Drummer. That's what I'm talking about, Ray. That's what I'm talking about. Classic vibe. Better than the square. I'll have to try it out sometime. 
Yo. All right. So, anybody have any requests for songs? I kind of want to play a... I kind of want to play... If It Takes Years. I'm feeling kind of rowdy. Favorite country artists? Oh, geez, there's so many. Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson... I've been, I've been sort of digging what uh, Luke Combs, if you want to find somebody new right now. Also, Coulter Wall, of course. That's a spirit that has been needed in country music. Yo. Hey, Cap. Thanks for joining. You want to hear one shot, Lucas? All right, I'll play that next. Buck Owens. That's what I'm talking about. This song is about a bounty hunter who's going after somebody that the public looks favorably upon, but is kind of a bad guy. And only the bounty hunter knows it, and the person who hired him. Here goes. I'm in for the long haul. I got that phone call for a bounty I can retire on But your deeds in Tulsa make this personal You best get ready to put those miles on Because I have so many questions And I don't mind takes years to grill you and after I hear all your confessions I don't mind if it takes years to kill you City, I'm worn knuckle made. I have plenty of help from those you betrayed. Bitch, I slay. You think you're my great? Ha, just show your face, name the place, and the day you will lose. Now let's review. You stole the cash from the Appalachian, said it was all for the good of the nation. Your righteous talk makes me lose my patience when you spent it to change your past conversations. Understand me, you break families And the deep web wants you exposed as badly I do the job every time I am hired With so much success I am an outlier Just try to watch, I will not tire I corner you just like a forest fire <sighs> Did you think I'd give up? After these stunts around the World Cup, you just make it worse upon yourself. I'm closing in on you, just missed by an hour or two, and you don't have anywhere else. And I still have so many questions. Don't mind if it takes years to grill you. And after I hear all your confessions, I don't mind if it takes years to kill you. If it takes years, you can hear that one on my album in vacant. No, no, that one's on on a weekend at a house by the road. One of the ones that I was talking about that I wrote and recorded in a weekend with the Rogue. That's that's on that one. All right, all right. Thank you so much, KT. Eric Church, one of your favorite country artists. 
great lyrics. Cheers to that. Ashton, does anyone here play Red Dem Red Dead Redemption 2 or heard of the game? I wish I could play that game. I don't have a PlayStation. That's that game looks so cool. I did watch gameplay of it uh though, and it looks so cool. I wish I could play that game. It looks very much fun. Wheel asks if what do I think about Bob Dylan? I love Bob Dylan. He's one of my favorite songwriters, if you can't tell. <laughs> I mean, probably a ton of influence shows up in, my, in, in the songs that I write from him. I have a poster of Bob Dylan right here. So, like, he's one of my top four uh, influences. I also got, uh, I also have more Bob Dylan stuff up here. <laughs> I love Bob Dylan. Also like uh, Jethro Tull as well. This song here is called One Shot. You play it on an Xbox. Philadelphia Pipe plays it on PC. Nice. I wish I could play that game. That looks like so much fun. I can't play any covers, unfortunately, and I've been everywhere, I believe, is copyrighted, unfortunately, right now. I gotta get the rights, especially here on YouTube. I can get a copyright strike, which means that either I won't make ad rev or so my channel will get taken down for a few days. I gotta be real careful with copyright here now, especially at 10k subscribers. You guys know the story behind getting a shot of whiskey? When you go into the bar and you say, hey, I want a shot. Well, used to be in the Old West, yeah, you could walk into a bar and you could trade a 45 caliber bullet for a shot of bourbon, a shot of whiskey, a shot of whatever, one ounce. That was currency back then, was the 45 caliber bullet because it was such a popular caliber. So you could use it as money in some occasions. So that's why we call it a shot of bourbon or a shot of liquor today. It's because you actually traded a bullet for it way back when. I heard about that story from uh, my godfather's daughter who had heard it from him himself. So I wrote a song about it using the characters from Tombstone. I guess you could say this was written in the voice of a Doc Holliday. I come in off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Virgil, and we were thirsty for some whiskey, but had not a penny to our names. My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired To sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games So the other four boys got a table and I moseyed on up to the bar They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone I said, barkeep, we came in only with our guns and good looks We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books But a drink would liven up our weary bones What do you say? He said Empty your wheel gun out on the bar and we'll see how many rounds there are. It's one shot for one shot and I'm only dealing 45s. One shot for the whole lot and that leaves you with one shot for your life. <laughs> Well, I looked at the bullets, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, life's for taking chances, so I told the boys we had a deal and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the rangers took me from her bed, but she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. One spouted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. I said, you got one shot to apologize or I'll put one shot between your eyes. It's one shot for 
one shot and I'm only dealing 45s. One shot is all you got. Yeah, you got one shot for your life. And then he said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores. So I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next. I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun. But he was all wrist and it's all hips, so I kept my word a la tete. Then I was empty. I hadn't spilled a drop. His friend made a move, but I was quick to my knife. Yes, he knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade. I finally drank and said, give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life. Well, before he ran, he let them fall on the ground and I bought the boys and Cades another round. It's one shot for one shot and I'm only dealing 45s. One shot is all you got, yeah, you got one shot for your life, yeah, one shot now, what you gonna do, yeah. Yes, one shot. That one's gonna be coming out soon on a streaming platform near you. I'm working on recording it right now. <laughs> True story, everybody. True story. All right. That pretty much does it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Congrats to all the winners. I had a lot of fun. I hope you had fun too. <sighs> Love doing these giveaways. I don't know what the next one will be yet, but you can bet your ass that I'm working on it. So there's definitely much more to come. Just because this channel is at 10K doesn't mean I'm going to be slowing down any. It only means that I'm going to be doing even more. So watch out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to take the day off tomorrow if you can. Maybe do a little bit here and there if you're side hustling or you got a small business. But Labor Day is important, folks. Your labor is important, and this one is for you, at least to all the Americans out there. All right. Cheers, everybody. I hope you have a spectacular Labor Day, and I'm wishing you the best worldwide. Peace, everybody. Have a spectacular one.